Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. You know, something we all love about Coach Allen is his personality, his energy, his drive, and his heart. Today, we dive in with Coach and go straight there, talking about his family, his football, and how the two come together to create something truly magical. Let's take a look. We've covered just about everything. We're almost there, but I want to talk about your family. I know being a coach's family is difficult. Being on the road, uh, you don't really have an off season in the Big Ten ever, mm -hmm. really. Uh, what have they meant to you, especially during a tough 2020, to have the support of them when you go on the night? Well, I couldn't do it without them. You know, my wife Tracy's amazing, and uh, all the moves. You know, we had a stretch of time before I came to Indiana, and I left high school of, of 10 years. We lived in seven different states, and and all those moves were kind of a lot of it was on her. You know, with the kids and getting them out of school and. Those moves always happen in December and January when you're in the middle of your school year, and so you got to change schools and find a house and buy a house and sell a house and pack everything up, you know. So just uh, my kids been amazing, you know. We got three children, and Thomas obviously plays for us, and Hannah's our oldest, and Brittany's our youngest, and so just uh, really blessed to have them in my, in my life, and and uh, just so thankful for them, you know. And yeah, it's been hard, but I tell you what, it's really shaped us into who we are as well, and. And it's draw us closer together because every time you move, you got each other, you know. And that's the one thing that you have that's the constant. And and I uh, just really just can't uh, thank the good Lord enough for them, and and just so excited for what they've been able to learn and learn how to trust the good Lord along the way. Because there's been so many unknowns and so many times that we didn't know what next the next day held or the next season held or what the future held. So just learning to trust and lean on each other. And speaking of family, your son Thomas, who's not only playing at IU this season, coming back off an injury, but also getting married later this week, uh, and, and I hear you're officiating the wedding, right? That is true. Yeah, they asked me about a year ago, and, and I'd never done never done a wedding before, so I've had to do a lot of preparation and a lot of work and had to get my license you know, to be able to, to legally do it, but uh, so we've got that stuff squared away. But yeah, what an amazing blessing to be able to, to marry Annika and, and Thomas, and she just graduated here this past uh, May and played softball here and had a great career. And, and just an awesome, awesome person. And so it's been a pleasure to be able to have her here with us. We've got to know her day the last four years. So special opportunity. So he uh, get married on Friday. He's got four days for his honeymoon. He's back to fall camp after that. So it'll be pretty uh, pretty awesome and pretty, uh, pretty intense these next several days. Can, can we get a sneak peek of what you got planned in the speed? Any dad jokes? Any well, special ones of advice? I, my, my wife told me, she said, don't you dare tell any jokes now during this. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, during the... Uh, the, uh, uh, I guess we call the, uh, what are we doing the night before, the uh, rehearsal then. Yeah. She said, you can do it then. <laughs> not, not in the regular. So here's the thing, though. So I'm super excited, and I can't wait, but man, I'm nervous. I'm more nervous than I am for our first game because I got to get this right. There you go. Coach, I want to finish today kind of combining that family and that football. I'm going to show you a video clip from last season. Um, and I just, want you to, I just want you to watch it really quick, if you don't mind. You can just hit play there at the top. how much they love you. What, what goes on in your heart of hearts, and what do you feel? Yeah, well, pretty special, really. You know, every time I watch it, it gets me. Gets me. Um, so there's a lot of years in the making of that, you know. Um, relationships take time, and, and uh, but they know we care about them. So it's pretty awesome to get a chance to, you know, come here and believe in something that hadn't happened yet. And, all those guys that were jumping on me. I was just trying to, I was trying to talk, you know, and I was already winded from celebrating anyways, but uh, um, just, uh, it's special. It is when, when you know that they, you know, 
they care about you as well, and, and they, they genuinely, you know, love what they're a part of, you know. And, and to me, that's what I want. I want to build a family that you know, transcends football. So, well, yeah, Kurt, pretty special. It's been an honor sitting down with you today. Mm -hmm. It's been a joy to watch you do it the right way and do what you've done with this program. So thanks for the time. I know you're busy. Mm -hmm. And you're best welcome. of luck in 2021. We're excited to see it. No, I'm excited. I can't wait to see these boys take it to another level. Mm -hmm. Hey, Leo. Wow. Simply summed up. Great coach, even a better person. Be sure to stay tuned with us all season as the Hoosier Network will have all the in-depth coverage you need to stay up to date with Indiana football and everything on the Big Ten Conference. It's been an absolute honor to guide you through this process this week. We can't wait to provide you with more this season. For the Hoosier Network, I've been Griffin Gonzalez. We'll see you at Iowa on September 4th.